My little note in front, in front of me, Stuart, says, mm. you're not a boring accountant. You are a huge 1990s hip hop fan. <laughs> <laughs> in particular, Snoop Dogg. And in fact, I just chatted to you about it about three minutes ago. Your and you, start, and you good, started yeah. singing. <laughs> Purely off air, though, I wouldn't want to disrupt. Uh, I wouldn't want to disrupt your your. What are you doing to the accountancy profession? You should be mixing it up a bit. I think you know. It's a, if ever a profession needed a bit of a stir, it was ours. You know what? It's like it's high time. I think I grew out of that particular uh, passion. Oh, he says that now. Oh, yeah. yeah. You should see him break dancing. <laughs> well, I don't think the knees and the hips are up to it anymore, unfortunately. Well, come here to me now. We are here to talk business, not to talk Snoop Dogg. I talk about Snoop Dogg's business because he is uh, rather successful. True. Uh, selling. Not everybody thinks of selling their business, but I was taught once upon a time that if you are in a business, you should always have it ready for sale. Stuart, discuss. 100% correct. I mean, you never know when the market opportunity might present itself. Um, and I think it's always important to have the business in a position that it's attractive to to someone that may look to acquire uh, market's been very strong the last couple of years. A lot of liquidity out there, a lot of lot of transactions, a um, lot of movement, a lot of good valuations uh, delivered as well. I think, you know, Dennis O'Brien probably in the papers within the last 12 months saying now is a good time to sell. And this is pre all the, the current turbulence. So, yeah, you, you can never start that process early enough, Connell. And when it comes to all the unglamorous background stuff, like having contracts right, having uh, property titles right, this property involved, having... Uh, staff contracts, handbooks, having the business maximised from a profit potential point of view. Um, and I think the piece that Colin and talk about is having the brand attractive because oftentimes brand is is an important component of it. Uh, so you're right. I mean, you can never be, uh, you can never start that journey too early. And I think there's lots of other benefits. I mean, you're talking about getting the fundamentals, fundamentals of your business right and in, and in good order. And I think the natural corollary of that is if you're doing everything as you should be doing it, then you're then you're an attractive proposition for someone who's consolidating in your market. Now, brand. A lot of people listening are saying we don't have a brand; we've a small business. But Colin, every business is a brand. Correct, and I think it's a word that um, 